Hello everyone, it's Carrie Bradford and in today's tutorial I'm just going to show you a quick little way that you can make these cute little two-toned feathers. As you can see here, I have pulled up the feathers kit and so that's what we're going to work with here today. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of um, the three feathers. It looks like these are in a compound pass, so let's get rid of that. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. Oops. And we're going to just work with this one. Now, what we want to do is we want to make a line kind of similar to this, going from the bottom up to the top. But the reason why we don't want to use this one that's already here is that this is part of the one that came in from the actual created file. And if we were to double click on it, you can see how many bazillions of points there are to work with. And we don't want that. That would be a nightmare. So the easiest thing to do is we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that one and then we're just left with the plain old feather. And while you could make a two-tone feather just by cutting them in half, you would not get an exact match. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line from the top and have it curved down to the bottom, and then that way you can cut out two sets of the feather and swap them to make two different two-tone feathers. <laughs> and I'm gonna see just how many times I can say the word two in this little tutorial. <laughs> tutorial, <laughs> never mind. Okay, so I'm a little weird today. Okay, so let's come over here and grab our Draw Freehand tool. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm just going to click and drag. And it doesn't matter exactly what it looks like because we're going to fix this and fine-tune it up. And so I've gone from the top down to the bottom. And I'm just going to double-click on it. And I want to get rid of these extra points. And the reason for that is, is we want a nice, long, straight curve. And when you start throwing in those extra points, it alters the course of your line. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on that. Right click and choose delete point and do the same thing with this one. Right click, delete point. Now you can see that we're left with just two points. And I'm just gonna kind of move this one over here and move this one up here just a little bit. We're gonna fine tune it just a little bit more. You can see that we have a handle here that we can choose to curve it with. But I also wanna curve it up here at the top. But currently, if you look over here, it's a flat point with a, a smoothness to it. And we want to make it a curve. And by choosing the curve, it gives us another handle to play with. So now I can click on that handle and kind of curve it just a little bit more precisely in how I, exactly that I want it. Just kind of gives it a little more control. And then I'm just going to zoom in here. And I want to make sure that this comes across about where that little corner point is. And the reason for that is I don't want my line to go down here. I'm afraid that will end up making it too thin. You could go ahead and do that if you really wanted to. But I'm, I think that just having the feather itself in two-tone will work well. Because, again, if you try to bring it down there, it, if you're making them small feathers, it might get really thin and, and fragile and you may not like it like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom back out and see how our little curve is doing. Let's just double check and make sure that it's exactly what we want. Maybe I'll just curve it just a little bit more. There, I think I like that. Okay, so now all you have to do is just send this to your cutter, cut it in two different colors, and then you can match both of them up perfectly and create these cute little two-toned feathers. Thanks for stopping by.